We've got a little bit more than just household garbage today. Found a couple of other things that we needed to throw out. It's like a glove. Beautiful. Boom. And another dump run. I have a feeling this will not be the last. I guess we gotta figure out when the garbage pickup schedule is now at our new place. That's gonna be something new. I'm looking forward to that. Someone else taking away my garbage. Trees are all changing color fast now, eh? That time of year. Get a few other things done while I'm in town. Uh, we've got to get our internet hooked up, set up, or uh, planned on it anyway, so that they're ready and we have our internet on Monday when we move in. That's important. Uh, we've got to get our mailbox set up. We're getting obviously a new address for a new house. What else have we got? We got. Uh, there's one other thing I thought I had to do, other than bring the garbage away here oh yes yeah, so I gotta stop at EG Penner pick up a few parts that I need I don't know if they want me to go on the scale today or not because I got that wooden desk so I'm gonna go inside and ask them if they want me to go up to the active cell or if they want me to go to the bins over here let's see what they say They told me just to go to the bin here. But I don't need to go all the way up to the active cell again. That's kind of nice. This way it's just 10 bucks to dump here. Number three or four. One less thing to do today. It's time to take care of that tree. 
So like I said, Britt's mom is coming down here in a couple of hours and uh, she wanted some firewood for her place back in Winnipeg. So we got lots of firewood here. We're also gonna have a bonfire here tonight, I believe. And uh, in the meantime, we can take care of this tree. This tree was gonna fall down on its own anyway. So uh, I just sort of went ahead and helped it along a little bit. I didn't want it to fall on anybody. But the wind had sort of half cracked it over here. The, the tree was half rotten. It came from right here. And as I was talking to you there, the camera died. So we had to take a little intermission. I didn't do much today, so tomorrow's the big day. I'm getting ready for it. Tomorrow's video should be good. I'm excited to go pick up the U-Haul. Well, this is what I got done with the tree after the battery died. Since I've been home, this tree's gone from green to yellow to orange, and now everything's falling off. Got this thing all cut up here. Just gonna organize it all today or tomorrow, or whenever we get to it. And then decide if anyone wants the firewood or if we leave it here for the new owners. I'm sure they would appreciate some firewood. Who wouldn't, right? I can still remember when we first moved here, there was a massive tree right in there between those two trees. Massive tree and it was dead. It took up this whole space. And this tree here was just a little baby tree. But uh, we cut down that big tree and put it all up in here. Sort of to block the dogs from going under the deck. It's supposed to be temporary, but here we are. <laughs> it's still there. This is all going to stay here for the new owners, I think. Actually, I shouldn't say that yet. It is our firewood, and we did cut it up. I'll see if anybody wants it. But, uh... That's a lot of wood to move yet. So you know how I say not every day in my life is exciting. Well, this is one of those days. Yesterday was one of those days, too. But it's all part of the story, right? You have to include the whole story. Tomorrow is the exciting day. When we actually go get the truck, uh, my family's coming down. Britt's uh, mom is already here. My mom and dad are coming down. Dad's bringing the trailer. Uh, Mom's bringing food. My sister Cheryl's coming. My sister Rose is coming. My nephew Max is coming. He's gonna bring the strength, I think. So we got some muscle here. I'm looking forward to seeing them. And tomorrow will be more of the exciting day that we've been building up to. But I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me here anyways on these not so exciting days. You know, it's just like your life. Like I say, this is real, real life. Not every day is super exciting. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, the video will be longer. And I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know how fast everything's going to go. I don't think it's going to take us too long. And then we have to sit here Sunday in an empty house yet because we got to wait till Monday. But everybody could come out today instead of tomorrow. So I guess tomorrow we'll just hang out in pretty much an empty house just waiting for our new house. And get this, the old owners of our new house who are living in there now, who we bought it from, they're only moving out Monday at 6 a.m. We get the keys and legal possession at 10 a.m. That gives them four hours to get out. Now I realize it's a small house and it shouldn't take them too long, right? But that's cutting it kind of close, don't you think? Like, I purposely made our possession date on the Monday because I can move during the week and it doesn't really affect me as much as people with, like, a regular 9 to 5 job. So I figure I'll make my possession date on the Monday so that they have the weekend to move out and clean the house and get ready for us, right? So I called our real estate agent and said, so is everything going according to plan? You know, are they going to be out? I don't want to show up there at 10 a.m. and have people still living there. That's awkward and inconvenient. So I called just to make sure what was going on. And she says, oh, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. They're moving out at 6 a.m. You get the keys at 10. That's four hours. How are they going to get everything moved out, packed up, and out of there, and clean the house? I guess legally you're not obligated to clean the house. Most people do that. You know, you move out and then you give the house a cleaning. And then the new people show up and they clean it again according to their standards. 
and then you're not moving into someone else's mess and you don't got to clean up someone else's dirt right that's usually how it goes but i don't know how this is maybe they hired someone i bet you anything because i heard they're moving out of province uh when we were uh, looking at the house i i saw a saskatchewan plate so i'm guessing they may be moving to saskatchewan i have no idea who they are I have no idea where they're going, but they're moving out of province, apparently. That's what the real estate agent said. So if they're going that far, I'm guessing they probably hired a moving company. And if they did that, well, then I'm not worried because those guys move fast. And that won't be a problem. They'll get everything done quickly. Guess we'll see. At 10 a.m., that house is ours, and anything inside it is ours. <laughs> I mean, if, they, if they're not out yet, it's not like I would claim their stuff, but I'd be pretty upset. I guess we'd be calling the lawyers and stuff and saying, hey, we need to get our stuff in. We're all here waiting. If we had to wait an extra day is what I'm saying. If it's just a, an hour or two that's just inconvenient, it would sort of mm, put a little frown on my face in the morning on an exciting day. But meh, we'll see what happens. That, that's how it's going now. You see, we took possession of that house on Monday and the new owners take possession of our house on Saturday. So that gives us plenty of time to move out, clean the house, so that when the new owners get to our house, it's ready for them, right? We gave several days for us to get that done. These people, they just gave themselves four hours to get all that done. Different people, I guess, eh? Different people do things differently. Maybe that's just the way it worked out. I don't know why they wouldn't have moved on the weekend. I mean, that's the whole reason why I set it up the way I did, but meh. As long as I get the keys at 10 a.m. and that house is ready for us, what does it matter, right? Thanks for joining me today on this not so exciting day. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for a much more exciting day. Tomorrow is the U-Haul day. I'm excited. Are you excited? We'll see you later.